hello ladies and gentlemen welcome again to my youtube page this is the white light of faith youtube channel and today guys i'm going to do something a little bit different on this page i'm going to introduce something else to this page that i like to do and it is actually gardening um so i started gardening like last year basically um last year um i had started my herb garden um i have pictures of it but i might put it in like in the end of the video if i could find the pictures but i started doing some gardening last year um i planted some herbs such as oregano cilantro um parsley some peppers um what else i did um i did some basil as well some purple basil and the green basil um so they, they did actually very good last year um i started i started everything from seeds that i purchased from home depot and i started them in like um, egg crates then when they started getting I started them inside in egg crates and when they started getting bigger I transported them to a bigger um, pot and I started putting them outside as well so I have the remains of what's left because they kind of died out at the end when um, the winter is coming in but I'm gonna flip the camera right now and show you guys the area that I will be working on and what I did last year so let me show you guys right now one second Okay, so we're going to start off with the garden that I did last year. Um, it kind of got ran over in the winter time. And this is like my first time doing gardening. And I did, I kind of planted everything like too close together. So um, this entire area looks like a wasteland. But I'm going to do it over. Um, it actually looked very, very beautiful when I planted them. Um, when people used to walk by. I should always get compliments. Um, hey man, nice garden, all that good stuff. And I say, yeah. So I think it's a, something I'm gonna do in the future on this channel as well. Um, so this right here is some regular rose bushes. I don't know the name of the bushes or anything like that, but as you can see, um, they do good every single year. You know, these are perennials and like shrubs and they come back every single year. Um, as you can see, they're starting to shoot back right now. Um, the sun is out. The weather is nice. We're getting a little bit of rain. And this is another one. I think this one is like planted too close because these gonna get. This is gonna get real big like the other one. But they're already here, so we're just gonna leave them. If they get too big, like we just trim them up, you know. And over here we have um, a grass bush. Again, this one started out very small. It's sort of very small and these grew crazy i didn't know it was gonna get that big and as you can see everything is like overgrown there's no space and they need space to grow so i could cut these and like transplant them to another area but it's gonna be a lot of work but that's what we're gonna do and if you step over here we have another um shrub i don't know the name of these but i left the tags on them so this is a fall let me see um false cypress king's gold yeah so that one i've seen some of the roots at the bottom is kind of beat out but it's all good they still look very vibrant they look very cool as well you know so um if you step over here we have some more grass bushes these did very good too but due to the weather and winter everything hopefully this could come back you know more plants right here um another huge um this was a lavender this was a lavender right this was a lavender and they actually did very good but um these are actually perennials so but they look really dead i don't think they're coming back to life but um i'm gonna try my best to clean this area in the future and start growing everything over again from fresh so let's keep on going through the garden okay if we step over here we have some more grass bushes <laughs> very good some of them burnt but it's all good they're just regular grass they come back every year and this is my rose bush this actually this is crazy because this this is it right here it was like a, a red rose bush and these are the remains of it but i did not expect these to be grown again like as you can see right here they're starting to they're starting to grow that's crazy I'll make sure i take care of these 
I did not expect these to grow back. Oh my gosh. I got one, two, three, four, five that are shooting up. This is the dead one. So I'm going to have to definitely um, take care of this and put like um, those metal fences like they use for tomato gardens. So I'm going to have to like really take care of these because they're actually growing back and that's crazy. More bushes that's dead. All these going to get um, dug up and redone. This is um, a yellow rose bush. This is a perennial shrub. This grows back every year, but I hate it because it has so many thorns on it. And if the kids run around and play, they're going to get really hurt. That's the only thing I don't like about that. Um, right here, there's another, another um, grass bush. As you can see, this is very tall. Um, it's about one feet or something like that. Um, these are just regular grass shrubs. Um, it's going to get chopped up in a way. Um, over here, this is a perennial. Um, this actually did the best and this one survived the winter as you can see the colors are still nice and brown and orange and burgundy these are doing very good these survived the winter and these are champions um if you step over here it was a yellow like a sunflower bush and it's so dead i could just pluck it up out of the root right now this is done with another um grass bush right here yeah, so this one, a regular um, winter shrub, uh, you know, landscaping. This one is a uh, juniper sea green, as you can see. Um, they're resistant, drought tolerant, so these don't really need no water like that. It's all good. So I'm going to take a walk over to my next area. I'm be taking a walk to the next garden area so you guys can see what else I have. Well, this yard is actually pretty big. It's actually probably the biggest yard on the block. Again, this that um red and burgundy in the plant you've seen. This is another one right here, and this one is just a very small one. As you can see, yeah. So that one, I may dig it up and put it over there with the other one. I don't know yet. These. Were actually some. Uh, what were these? Let's take a look. Okay, these were Asiatic lilies. Yeah, these are not perennials. These died like real fast. Again, um, a lot of stuff is just growing back. These are. Um, this is a perennial. These are the lavenders. As you can see, this is the lavender root. And everything will grow back. It's going to take a little bit of time. I just got to make this area good again. It was a nice circle. As you can see, there was a lot of plants filled in here. And they're going to do their thing and come back. Um, this one right here is just getting its mature roots. Planted it when it was a little baby, a little um, lilac. This is a lilac shrub, full sun. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks, and as you can see, everything is budding up right now, and it's going to take a little time to come back, but these take like a couple of years to like really mature. So the plan is to just grow it like a tree and just chop off the, the bottom limbs and let it grow like a full tree. That's the plan for that. Over here, um, we have our bird nest. These were actually some nice, really cool bird figurines that I got at Family Dollar. As you can see, but I forgot to bring them inside. I didn't. I didn't even think about it, and everything turned to dust. Everything just got really damaged over here. We have a little bird nest that I put up. That actually, no birds in the neighborhood even use them, and they have a free house. How is that? Oh man, over here, guys, we have um my little white picket fence. You know what I'm saying? The American dream. <laughs> It's a little dead right now, you can see. Um, some little gardening stuff. Trinkets. Got these three little guys chilling right now. So yeah. Now this is the problem. I planted these, but these are boxwood green. You know, these are very nice, but my parents are complaining because 
they're saying it's too close to the concrete and it's gonna get so big and just mess up the foundation of the concrete so these were actually um, I'm gonna transplant them probably across over there with the rest so I probably put them on that side over there let it be a once one long row I probably get rid of that plant as well as in the center remove the bird stuff and put it all in the front so the kids could have a bigger space to play in the yard so they don't have to run around the circle right here so all the stuff over there is going to get dug up and transplanted to somewhere else and i have one two three four that's going to get transplanted all throughout the yard now if we step over here we step over here and now we have some more little decorations in the garden it's a little uh, mushroom with a butterfly and this is actually very a beautiful plant um this is the high hydrangea nico blue as you can see these get really beautiful if you i live in um, new york and uh, mount vernon so when i could drive to, when i drive to like new rochelle and i see these plants they get really big like seriously and it's very Colorful, give your yard a very colorful vibe. They get very um, vibrant blue color, you know. And as you can see, these are the mature ones that grew last year. Um, these are dead now. Hopefully, they're going to come back. As you see, there's a bunch of them that's dead right now. And this is now just maturing, you know. I bought it when it was like really small, but it takes a couple of years to mature. And as you can see, all the leaves are coming back right here. So in about two months or so um these should be starting to push for their um their plants and change color but they change color like during the fall season like around that time but those do very good and there you don't have to worry about those as well now we have one two these are like your emerald greens ever christmas trees like type things um for like um for like um protection or like shade or like like a fence you know if you don't buy a fence you just plant a couple of these in front of your your yard and they get really huge they get about 12 to 15 feet in height uh, so yeah these get really big so you could actually put them across you could actually put them right at the gate and let it be like a privacy privacy fence or something like that um so yeah over here is the rest of the the boxwoods um i gotta clean out all of these um put down some new mulch things like that so yeah now we're gonna take a walk over to the herb garden um which is where i started my herbs um it's look like crap right now to be honest but you know It'll be okay. Oh, this one is actually a rose bush. But I don't know if it's gonna get any life. <laughs> yeah, this was planted late, so I don't know how this one is gonna do. There's another one in the back over there. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. But um but this is my little herb stuff that I had. As you can see, these are actually all from seeds. These are all from seeds, and they actually did really good. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and plant some more and like this year, like really try to take care of them like better than I did last year. Um, I don't remember what plant that was to be honest. Um, so you have a bunch of stuff. Oh, our chives, this survived the winter. This is a very hardy plant as you can see. These are chives. These could actually be cut right now and just dice them up and throw it in your food. So. I might just go to the store and buy something and cook with these a little on later. Um, you know, they've been sitting out all winter. It's all good. You ain't got to worry about nothing. And over here are perennials, shrubs. These are oregano, I believe. Yeah, these are perennial. These grow all year. These grow like wild bush. So that's good. Um, so yeah, so now we're gonna walk over to the next area of the yard. Um, yeah, these are these gotta get some grass in. We gotta do a lot of cleaning up. So got a big family. Everybody gonna play their role, you know. So we step over here now. We have some buckets and car tires that we planted stuff in. So my cousin, 
This is actually a car tire. As you can see. So my cousin actually planted in these last year. He actually planted some watermelons and they actually they actually grew, but they died. They didn't grow to full maturity. They died out. But these are like the remains of the watermelons that we grew. And they do very good, you know. Um, if you step over here, this is the Mecca of the yard. These are our two grape trees, our vines. Um, these bear every single year. These are like three years old, by the way. And the roots are very mature. So like a month, two months or so, I'm gonna do another video updates of this. It's gonna see how it starts growing. Everything bears perfectly every year. There are actually two different varieties, two different varieties of um, grapes. Um, I don't know the exact name for them, but I will get them. Just leave it in the comment section. Just remind me and I will get them. So yeah. And over there now is where we plant some more stuff like tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, things like that. We'll be planting this area. All those grasses got to get rooted up and get some fresh soil, some healthy soil, and just start doing everything over again. So that's it, guys. So that is the plan for the page as well as my gardening. Um, so I'll be getting back on an update video um, when I can or when I get things moving. When the weather, well, the weather is getting really nice because we're about to go into May and, you know, that's a good weather. So, guys, if you like this video, if you want to enjoy seeing my progress in my gardening and my yard decor, um, just give this video a thumbs up, you know, and leave any comments or suggestions in the comment section that could help me with this yard and hope you guys like this kind of video um this is marlon from the white light of faith youtube channel i see you guys on the next video much love always don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and turn on your notification bell for more updates on what i'm gonna do next goodbye